Let's talk about, uh, I would say, the headlining, the flagship announcement from AirPods. this Wonderlist event. <laughs> it wasn't AirPods, <laughs> believe it or not. We got something bigger. Um, no, it's, uh, it's the iPhone. We oh. got a new iPhone. Really? A bunch of new iPhones. Oh. Isn't that exciting? I guess. There's a ton of new stuff. All right. A ton. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus, iPhone 15 Pro, and iPhone 15 Pro Max. Which should we start with? The regular ones so that we can get people to listen to the podcast longer. Retention. Yeah. Retention. Good idea. Retention. Okay. Business. iPhone 15 and 15 <laughs> Plus. So these at first, to me, because there are so many things that Apple does where technically they're not new features, they just came from the Pro phone of the previous year, I started to write it off as not a big upgrade. But then the more they got into it, and then once you hold it, it's actually a pretty I, yeah. decent yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. I just don't like that they started off by saying all new design, because let's be real. <laughs> it's metallic That's iron, That's not the bro. words I would use. Slightly more curvy design. It is an updated oh. design. I'll let you use that word. So new colors, a new curve radius on the aluminum all the way around. Wow. And then, no, it feels different in the hand. It does, it's, it's, yeah. it's less sharp. Yeah. It does. It, it makes a difference. Yeah. And then they have this like color infused back glass thing that they're doing where it's one piece of back, one piece of glass on the back. Yeah. But it goes from a lighter satin finish, which that's new for the non pro phones, satin finish. Yeah. To a darker version of the same color around the camera bumps. Yeah. And it's one piece of glass and it's this sweet, I don't know how they do I it. I want to point out when they were talking about how they did it, they were like, dynamic infused ions and i was like i don't know what you're talking about i don't know how you do I, it i believe you the, the end result is pretty cool i love that it's that it's satin now um i guess with that what they're saying essentially is that that clear part over the cameras they can adjust the saturation of it because before it was just kind of like clear and you kind of got whatever the color came through so this time now it looks more like a an on-purpose they color. said they yeah. infuse the color into the glass metallic ion i yeah. have no idea what that means but you know, it cool. lo it looks solid. There's a new yeah. pink. There's a I nice how it's yellow. Made about that. I, that would be kind of sick. Actually, That'd be great. I would watch that. Okay, yeah, pink, yellow, blue. Pink, yellow, blue. Green, green, uh, black. green, and black. It's just like the C. It's kind of cool. Like I like that they're adding all the fun colors to the regular I, line now. I liked the colors the a lot. Line. I thought they looked good. Yeah. I yeah, definitely yeah. thought you meant see like the ocean. And Me I was too. like, David, what are you talking about? I was like, all those colors okay, kind of sound say? like the ocean, but like not Like the iPhone pink. 5C. Oh, the yeah. 5C. I should have said the 5C. Oh. Wait, did we I all still think he meant the, the ocean? ocean? It's just yeah. like the ocean. <laughs> the pink <laughs> sea. I agreed, weirdly enough, too. Yeah, no, it was like black, blue, green. I was like, sounds like the ocean to me. Pastels, totally. Okay, so specs-wise, I mean, they're the same size phones, same size screens. What you're getting now is a brighter display. What is it, 2,000 nits now? And you get the dynamic island. Yep. Which and I called. You did, did call you? it. I did call yeah. it. Is that one of the predictions? Like the okay. It, was oh, not yeah, one it the... wasn't one of the predictions from last week, but oh. it was one of the predictions from, from like, like last year. Two or months ago. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it officially has a dynamic island. And it has the A16 Bionic from the 14 Pro. Yeah. Right. So we've seen this chip before, but it is an improvement. It is it's gonna be faster, more capable. Uh it now also brings the 48 megapixel primary camera from the iPhone 14, 14 Pro. Pro. Yeah. That was a pretty big upgrade. That's a nice mm -hmm. camera. That's a bigger sensor. And, and there's a lot going on with the software. Oh, there's so much. There's a lot going on with the software. And this, I think I kind of missed it during the keynote. Yeah. But basically, it's kicking out 24 megapixel images by default now, not 12. Mm -hmm. So what we're, what we're doing before is we were getting quad pixel binning. So yeah. it was a 48 megapixel cameras, and all of them would give us the normal 12 megapixel shots. And we've seen that everywhere. Quad pixel binning is very common. What Apple's doing is not quite that. Actually, it is that and also more. More. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're taking quad pixel binning 12 megapixel image, combining it with individual pixel 48 megapixel shot, yeah. merging them together to use some of the light information from the 12 megapixel and the detail information from the 48 megapixel to turn it into a detailed and bright 24 megapixel, sort yeah. of like a hybrid fusion photo file. Yeah. And that's the default now. What's I'm, a picture? What's a photo? I'm realizing how important those animations in the keynote are because just watching yeah. you move your hands around is very confusing. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot going on. And I kind of missed that at first. But yeah. not only are you getting a new sensor and a new uh, image pipeline, but all of that is happening now yeah. by default. And... God, there's so much more software with the pros, but that's basically the new thing with so the cameras. Cool. I liked the portrait mode stuff that they talked yeah, about. Well, that's yeah, a new thing, I think that so. was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. next gen portrait mode. Yeah, it's, it essentially is automatically capturing depth information, so you don't have to so turn on portrait mode. It's interesting. If there is a person, a cat, or a dog mm -hmm. in the picture, it will automatically capture all the depth information because it recognizes the subject. Yeah, yeah. If there's not, 
it won't unless you tap on something. If you tap, it captures depth information. So I think it doesn't want to unnecessarily capture that information, okay, yeah. but it assumes that when you take pictures of people, cats or dogs, you would like it. Yeah. So you can change the focus at any point. That I thought was cool how you can change focus between subjects like yeah. as well and, and yeah. change the bokeh on that. This is yeah. an interesting thing because we sort of hit this state at one point where you had to make portrait mode because all phones were like the equivalent of F32. Mm. But now we're getting these bigger <clears throat> sensors with these like more wide open apertures. Yeah. So you kind of have this combination now, but now you can sort of take part of that computational photography that was useful before and not really anymore and bring it into the like modern smartphone cameras. Yeah. And now it's just fun. You it's like an enhancement. It. It's like an enhancement now. Yeah. Instead yeah. of a necessity. It's good. Um, I, I want to have to test it. We're going to have to try this stuff out. I mean, I think it'll be good. I also want to, I want to mess with the computational, the AI so bad. Like it says, they said dogs, cats, and people. Yeah. So if I get like a raccoon. <laughs> We're gonna get a studio Those raccoon, are more like a ferret, like Raccoons something are close. <laughs> what about like a you know? reptile? You know, I think it would still trigger. Yeah, a well, reptile might a reptile, be kind of. I don't know. No, kind of far. I think it's only. I think it's furry cats, faces. dogs, and people. But like, how do you know it's a cat? It's, or a it's dog? the same thing as uh, Google Photos. It, it like can recognize. But what Google Photos is not hundred percent accurate. No, it will, that's I'll, true. I'll get like, that's true. I bet if I search my Is this going to be a video? <laughs> I, think yeah. I think it would be fun to just see how Just far go to the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> I almost <laughs> see what. It'll work fine. I mean, you tap to focus on a ferret, it'll work. But like, yeah. if I just point it at the ferret, will it go, oh, it's a cat? <laughs> I want to know. I don't know. I just, I want to know. What about cardboard out. shin? You think that would work? That'll work. I bet that works. That'll work. That cutout will be perfect on it. I do. I do think we should go to the zoo. I think this is a good video. That would be a great studio video. A tiger is a cat, but like, is that good? Anyway, good point. Um, these are all very important questions that need to be answered in the full review. So that's why that's coming later. Really makes you think. Um, but yeah, that's that's a bunch of stuff. I mean, these are very these are relatively important things. But that's not the most important thing about the new iPhone, is it? All right. USB. I yeah. forgot the yeah. entire reason I'm upgrading. Oh. Huge thing. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's got a it's got a USB C port now. Yeah. The iPhone. It was kind of funny looking at the iPhone and seeing that USB port. No matter how many times I look at it, it's kind of still processing. Yeah. But it's real. I haven't plugged in a USB C port to one of the new ones yet, but I think when I will, that's when it'll hit. That's probably when. That's when yeah. I'm gonna be like, gonna be like, it's real. My life. When I have one cable. <laughs> We've done it. Which, by the way, it's <laughs> we did it. Society, uh, if. it's not the same. But one cable, uh, yeah, one cable for the for the Mac, for the iPad, for there's still other stuff, by the way, that needs to get upgraded. Yeah. But the new AirPods case is USB C, so there's AirPods Pro case there. Your friend's Android phone, whatever. Your laptop, what your Surface laptop you use, like everything. Yeah. One cable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How sweet. Convenient. Is yeah. Yeah. Thank get, you, Europe. Oh, and here's another. <laughs> I think it's more important for us Android users is. I can help my friends with iPhones charge now. Do you Actually, know how yes. many times people come over and they're like, do you have a charger? Yes, I'm like, true. yeah. <laughs> Whoops, it's not that. Sorry. Yeah, Claire yeah. and I both use an Android, so we're like that weird house that doesn't Or you're like an Uber yeah. and you're like, do you have a car charger? And like, yeah, and they hand it to you and it's a lightning cable. <laughs> that happens like, a lot well, to me. Crap. Yeah. I got offered the aux cable in an Uber once. and he I can still use that, cable. just saying. <laughs> oh, was what? Weird. Yeah. Yeah, because you can do. So, do you want the aux? And I think for like, iPhone users, Man. like, whatever, plug it in. Wow. Were yeah. you here in San Two Francisco stars. when that happened? I think that was in New York Uber. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's weird. Other Wait, cool thing. One fact. Oh, are we going to say the same thing? <laughs> you bet. You power better out. now. The if you don't. Power out. We are the same yeah, person. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a fascinating new feature. No, you go first. So, so there is no reverse wireless charging, but yeah. there is now through that USB port reverse wired charging. Yeah. So you know you're gonna get that C to C cable in the box. You can plug in your AirPods from the iPhone and it will charge up the the AirPods battery from the iPhone battery. Yeah. Which is kind of cool, but even cooler. Yes. You're probably wondering, Oh, you are. what happens if I plug in <laughs> my friend's iPhone to my iPhone? Do you wanna guess? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> there's, a, there's a correct answer here and there's actually two answers. It sounds like there's not a correct answer if there's two answers. Well, there are two different scenarios. One is you plug in your friend's Lightning iPhone with a USB-C to Lightning cable, yeah. in which case every single time charges the, the USB-C iPhone will charge the, the Lightning, Lightning iPhone. Yes, mm -hmm. I can see why that. Yeah. No matter what the battery state is. Mm -hmm. I say that because if you plug in a USB-C iPhone into another USB-C iPhone, there is a special handshake where the really? phones talk to each other and they go, how much battery do you have? And the other one goes, how much battery do you have? And the one with more battery 
will charge the one with less battery. Yeah. This I is weirdly, so chaotic. I, I love it. Real. I, I want to take it. this where one is at 50 and one is at 51. That's I, a great it, question. And then it's just going to turn into like where you call two they pizza no, delivery no, no, no. They people. Don't they forth. don't. No, oh, they don't. don't. It just Whichever starts. one has it at the beginning. Okay. So you'll, the funny, I want to see like a phone that's at like 52 and a phone that's at 50 and it just pushes all the power into yeah. the other phone. One will end up at 100 and the other will end up at zero. One or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Imagine yeah. trying to explain this to your mom. I think that's still gonna work. Like I you just plug do. your phone into the other phone. Yeah. No, but what if it goes in the other direction? Or what if they have a lightning phone? Well, you would never one? do it if you had they more battery than your friend. Now I'm gonna just yeah. plug it in with I my I think this phone. is fairly <laughs> fail safe. I think, I think it's, it's good. Okay. I think it's like I have two percent right now. If you plug in your phone into mine, can I get some of your battery? And you plug it in and it works. You're like, damn. That's pretty cool. That's pretty solid. That's pretty cool. Then they I plug also, in Andrew's Zen phone and it explodes. <laughs> I don't know what happens if you plug in other non-handshake phones. It pulls up the Apple store on my phone. <laughs> it just says yeah, straight to the It looks like you want to buy an iPhone. iPhone. Yeah. Buy your mom an iPhone. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's iPhone 15. Wait, so the, the the cool thing about that, we were talking to one of the guys during the briefing, and he was like, yeah, I usually just like bringing one brick to an event, so I bring a brick that is a MagSafe charger, MagSafe charges my phone, and then I put a USB-C cable in the phone and charge like my AirPods with that. Right. And therefore, then you can charge everything. You're like wired chaining. Yeah, which is the same thing people with reverse wireless charging were doing. They were just yeah. plugging in their phone, turning it over on its face, and then putting the wireless charger earbuds yeah. on the back. But like this is wired, so it's yeah. four and a half watts. Oh, and fun thing we learned is that you could charge things with lightning through the iPhone before, question mark? I think so, yeah. But it was 1.5 watts, yep. and they moved it to 4.5. Right. So Cool. Yeah. So there you go. Four there and a half go. watts to charge your AirPods. Can I have something irrelevant but happened <laughs> during the announcement for the iPhone? Sure. I, guess I think my favorite transition of their event was during that, and it was right after, which also they showed voice isolation for phone calls, I think was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But right after that, she's like, of course they have apples here. And there's this box of apples and it zooms oh, yeah. into the road logo, like on the apples and then goes into this like road and then they he steps out onto the road. Did you like the music at the same time. I didn't. The music was, you know, their marimba, like do, 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 you know, that like classic iPhone. The bump, uh, bump, bum, bum, No, it's a, <laughs> uh -oh. the classic <laughs> iPhone ringtone. Oh yeah, it was, uh, uh, that but slowed down. Dude, During was that it? transition, I didn't, I didn't it was a great transition. transition. It was a great transition. Was a I great think transition. that transition and way back into the there was one where it went into somebody's watch into like the Apple Fitness Room to talk about yeah. Siri plus health and like zoomed into the watch and then That's was cool. then inside. Mm, it was really cool. It's pretty Apple cool. and the transitions and they brought drones back again. They did. I feel like they didn't do drones at Dub Dub. It was all like visual like color animations and mm. this was we were back yeah into i had a moment where i was watching the event because it was like tim cook came out said good morning five times peaced out and then we got like the event on the stage mm -hmm. video. and i had a moment where i was like do i want events back where it's just like a dude on a stage giving us a live demo because that's a different vibe and yeah. it's much slower yeah but as an as a person getting entertained, I still really enjoy the cinematic transitions mm -hmm. and the fun. It's just so much harder to write fast, yeah. like yeah. as it's yeah. happening. It is what it is. I think they're both good. Yeah. Do you want to do price? Pro. Same. Oh yeah. Sorry. Same price. Same price. Seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine for iPhone fifteen and iPhone fifteen plus. They also mentioned something at the end. It was like eight hundred dollars off if you trade in an iPhone. That was 11 or to newer. certain carriers. To certain carriers, but yeah. carrier deals are insane. Carrier that deals sounds are like wild a deal. a wild deal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then you get locked into a contract, which is yeah the other part of that Two deal. Two-year contract or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Boost <laughs> mobile, baby. I'll give you eight hundred bucks off your phone, but then you'll be paying. <laughs> you'll be a paying lot. me for the next two years. Exactly. Just get Pixel Pass.